What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about the latest news that's been circling all around social media today, and that is The Rock and Roman Reigns are not slated to be at this year's Elimination Chamber um, that we previously thought. That's been the rumor that's been circling around today. So we're going to check out, check this out and see what's going on here. I'm going to be checking this out from uh, Forbes. Um, let's get right into this one. WWE reportedly not doing Roman Reigns versus The Rock at Elimination Chamber. WWE is not planning Roman Reigns versus The Rock at Elimination Chamber. In fact, the head of the table isn't slated for the event at all. According to the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, um, there are no plans for the match to happen at the show as Reigns has never uh, Reigns was never scheduled for the show nor advertised, and there are no plans for him for that date right now. Of course, in pro wrestling, plans can always change, but Reigns' absence from Elimination Chamber perhaps shouldn't come um, as much of a surprise. The longest reigning champion. In the modern era, Reigns continues to appear only uh, sporadically for WWE on SmackDown and pay-per-view events. It was noticeable months ago that Reigns was also absent from Elimination Chamber advertising with the show advertising campaign built large, largely around hometown hero Rhea Ripley. WWE's plan to keep Reigns off Elimination Chamber altogether, however, uh, has a clear domino effect on WrestleMania season. It's been a popular theory that Reigns will face The Rock at Elimination Chamber in Perth, mainly because Australia tourism officials have been pushing, uh, pursuing The Rock for an in-ring return. In that scenario, WWE would have gotten the best of both worlds, Reigns vs. Rock at Elimination Chamber, Reigns vs. Rhodes, presumed Royal Rumble winner at WrestleMania 40, which I don't think he's going to be the Royal Rumble winner, but we'll see. Reigns reported absence from Elimination Chamber, though, could mean a couple of things. Mainly, it suggests that the plans will not change and Reigns will not be on the show in any capacity. Perhaps, however, it means that The Rock versus Reigns will happen just at WrestleMania instead. The Rock recently made jaw drops when uh, on the heels of a surprising Raw return. He promised big things coming to WWE. Might those big things include a Royal Rumble victory or a WrestleMania match with Reigns? Maybe both. We rarely hint at a massive uh, match. WWE rarely hints at massive matches without delivering them. And given that there have been more than a few major hints that The Rock versus Reigns, the current frontrunner of headlining uh, WrestleMania, is indeed coming to fr uh, fruition nearly a decade after it was first talked about, the stars appear to be aligning for a dream match of the ages, with Reigns expected to leave the Royal Rumble as champion and things now looking a little shaky for Rhodes on the quest to win his second straight Royal Rumble, WWE fans are beginning to read between the lines, diving deeper into the Elimination Chamber event just over a month away. The likely lack of rain speaks louder than perhaps any other match could. No Reigns in Perth could equal Rock versus Reigns in Philadelphia and major ramifications for Rhodes, the bloodline, and numerous marquee WWE stars. And here's the thing about that. I honestly, I can still see them having this match. Obviously, it's it's uh, a little over a month out, but I do, I I can definitely still see them having this particular match. I, I think they're trying to keep it under wraps as as possible because Reigns not being there for me, and I think for a lot of people, it doesn't make sense. This is a big stadium event. Him not being there doesn't make as much of sense only because it's a big event. I, I want to say this would be one of their first times ever having a big show like that in Australia. You would think someone with this legendary reign would want to be at that event. You would think that I'm sure the thousands of fans that are buying tickets to this show are going to want to see Roman Reigns. This may be one of the only few times they get to see him in person. Why not? That don't even make sense. Why not have The Rock and Roman Reigns at that event to make it that much more special? That don't even make sense. That's why I think it's a way to kind of throw the sin off. 
we will see what happens at the Royal Rumble and how they plan things at the Royal Rumble. That's going to give us an indication relatively soon if he's going to be there. But I just think Roman Reigns is going to be at that show. I just It's hard for me to believe they would not have Roman Reigns at one of the biggest shows they could possibly put on this year. What are we talking about? Over 40,000 people are probably going to be in that stadium. There's no way you don't have Roman Reigns in that in that state. Even if you just take the rock out of it, there's no way you don't have Roman Reigns at that show. There's no way. And if you have the option to get the rock there, there's no way you don't do that. I know some people say, oh, they can hold off to WrestleMania. One, no, I don't think they should be holding off anything. I think they need to be telling some stories relatively soon. Hopefully after the Royal Rumble, we get some more stories between these, uh, between The Rock and and uh, Roman Reigns. If they're going to do that, I don't think they need to hold off. I think you can build up story between these two pay-per-views. Between the Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber, you can create more story between these guys. There needs to be some interaction. And even if they don't have the match at Elimination Chamber, there needs to be some type of interaction between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. So you have a couple pay-per-views to have them have a real face-to-face if you're going to do it. So I don't know. If he's not at the show, then it's safe to say that Cody's story is done. I just want y'all to know. If he's not in the main event this year at WrestleMania, his story's over. They scrapped the story. It's over. Some of y'all feel like that's the case already, but we have to wait and see. But I do believe that they will be at the show because it's just it's too big of a show for them not to be there. I think Roman's going to be at a big show like this. This is huge for WWE. So it wouldn't make sense to not have your best players out there. That's just my personal opinion. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys believe this report that Roman Reigns and and the rock are not going to be our elimination chamber or do you think it's just a way for them to kind of throw the scent off to kind of mislead people and then maybe have them uh be on the show um in either i don't know about roman being a surprise because you want to make him as a marquee situation but i don't know how they plan it out but maybe make it as a sense of more of a surprise leading up to the event or do y'all think uh the rumors here the reports are true and they're not going to be on us at the show let me know what y'all think down below but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace